suppose it would take a really pretty route over to Matlock from Pecos. An opportunity to upload a little bit of my riding. There's one coming, leaving past the roadwork signs. Looking at the debris on the road. I'm going to be taking the next road on the left. This is one of those days where it's actually quite hard to see because of the dappled shade. Get a lot of flickering sunlight. I'm out in two to three at the moment. Losing the view, lose a bit of speed. Over to one. Can't see over the crest of the hill, so I'm going to bring my speed down a little bit. Also, quite difficult to see with the shade. Let's keep my speed slow, it's quite narrow. And tight. A little bit of brakes. If I had a clutch, my clutch would be out whilst I was using the brakes, but I don't have a clutch. with you at the same time. <laughs> Gosh, it's like Van City down here. A little bit wider here, got the view, so that's good. Just taking out this device behind as well. Sweet. Quite a good view as we're coming around. I'm holding my position now back to two. Regular mirrors so I can see what Mr. Mike's doing behind over to three. Get the view. Come all the way around the bend. Mirrors in between the bends. Get the pace off a little bit, got a good view. Watching the junction on the left. Gosh, this is a bumpy road. Holding two. Over to three. And back to two. Opening the throttle against the hill, keep the speed up. Got a good view at the moment. Coming over to one for the bend. Trying to gain the view around the bend. I can't gain the view, so I'm going to ease off my throttle a little bit. Still losing the view, and now it's opening. There we go. Check my mirrors. Looking all the way around the bend, there's quite a lot of gravel over by the verge, so I don't want to go too far over towards position 1, the edge of it. Back on the power, I've got a lovely view. Losing the view, easing off and back on again. Watching these entrances on the left and the right, mirrors. Bring the speed down. Can't see around the bend. I'm not going to go out wide because I can't see around the bend. Oh look, blind crest. Which way is the road going? Left. Just keeping it in position one. If there was something coming there, I'm not sure if I'd have seen them. Probably, but can't be sure. Watching the junction. Position two. Just want to gain the view around the bend at the same time. Holding one. It seems a bit wide. Move to three, looking over the hedge, you can see there was nothing coming. And back on the power. Always reading the warning signs, got some tight bends coming up. Nice, bring the speed down a bit. And again, losing the view because of the shade as well as the actual bend. Really bad surface. Use of the fact that it's there. Just going to squeeze. 
squeeze in for one in case there was something coming. I can quite see then. I'd rather hug the hedge, just in case there is something. Surface. It's quite easy to tense up when you're riding these roads with bad surface. I to force myself to release the grip to recover the horn. That didn't really inconvenience me enough to need to use the horn, that doesn't matter really. Angry people would have beeped, but exactly the road that I could get up to 60 on, so it's not a problem. Just some regular mirrors, enjoying the view, planning for the bend, looking for any near side hazards. of the speed off and I'll just down for my rear brake to finish. So we've slowed down for a slow car which was holding us back but now the BMW is getting a move on which is good because it allows me to ride the ride that I want to without getting too close or looking for an overtake. Through the hedges and over the top of the slate walls to try and gain the view. So on this left hander for example I'm already looking through the hedge and across. I was in position 3 there coming back into 2 looking at the road ahead. Looks like a right hander coming up so I'm over in position 1. Just looking all the way around the bend, reading the bend watching it open up, staying over into one for the heavy goods vehicle. They really do come very fast down this road so you don't want to be in position three um, and sometimes you don't want to be in two either. Once again heavy goods vehicle coming over, stayed in two for that one. Over to position one for the right hand there looking all the way around the bend. Warning sign says there's a junction on the left, so I'm moving out to three. Also appropriate for the bend. Hold in my position, see my speed's reduced, and then it picks back up once I've got the view. Positioned over to the left in position one for the right hand bend. to position one for the right hand bend so looking all the way around the bend no oncoming traffic holding three the view opens up here which is good but there's a crossroads coming up so the bmw starts to slow down not sure whether he's just habit breaking or if he's potentially thinking about turning so i ease off a little bit and there's no need to reduce my speed for the crossroads itself as there was no traffic approaching Position one for the very fast heavy goods vehicle and for the right hand bend. Over to three, planning for the next bend. Holding three, there's no oncoming traffic, it's giving me a really good view around the bend. Over to one, ready for the next bend, bearing in mind the knee side hazards of the entranceway to the house. Back over to three, left hand bend coming up. Always planning for the furthest bend, provided we've got a really good view of the tarmac. You can see there's nothing coming. Just holding three. Seems to like his brakes, this BMW, but at least he's keeping his speed up. Just 
careful not to get too close so I wasn't intimidating him. I'm over in one for the right hand bend, I'm trying to get the best view I can around the bend. Coming up behind a second vehicle in front. Bearing in mind that that vehicle might not be going as fast as the BMW, so I'm hanging back a little bit in case he needs to reduce his speed. Back over into 2 to 1 for the heavy goods vehicle, and then over to 3 again to get the view. The white car in front of the blue one does seem to be braking for the bends as well, so still anticipating they might be slowing down or perhaps they're looking for a turning. Holding my position in 2 for all the oncoming traffic. Warning sign, bends ahead. This one's a particularly bad one and I happen to know that cars sometimes suddenly turn right here so I hang back a little bit. It looks like he's just slowing down for the bend and then all of a sudden he waxes his indicator on. And that happens regularly there so if you don't know the road it can be quite um, a surprise to the car behind the one that decides to turn. Position 2 for the oncoming, out to 3 again now. Holding 3, got a really good view of the road ahead. All the way up to the next left hander, which is why I'm coming across a little bit, and oncoming traffic. Keeping those changes of position nice and smooth, letting it flow really nicely. Over in position 1 for the right hand bend and the heavy goods vehicle. Move to three, left hander, back in for the oncoming, holding my position, trying to choose a smooth line around this rather bumpy bend. It's quite tight that one. Over to one to gain the view. Holding three, over to one. Holding one for the right hand bend, keeping that view coming over because I can see it's a left hander next, so all the way over to three. Moving back in for the oncoming, staying in two to one, over to three. No oncoming traffic at the moment, moved in there is oncoming traffic. Holding 2 to 1 for the heavy goods vehicle, tight right hander coming up, bring my speed down a little bit, look all the way around the bend, no oncoming traffic, so I apex the bend a little bit. Holding position 2 for now, over to 1 to gain the view, looking all the way around the bend, way in front of the BMW. Over to 3, ready for the left hander. quite a good view as we come around. Closes in a little bit so I move into two. Don't really want to stay out there if I can't see around the bend particularly with all those heavy goods vehicles. And that's the end of the ride. I hope you've enjoyed it. Please comment, like, subscribe and share. See you soon. Bye.